My name is Patrick Foster. I go by Mac, though. I play rhythm guitar, and I also sing lead vocals. Sean Johnson. I play guitar. John Russell Franks. Call me JR. I play the drums. I've always been the drummer slash tambourinist slash sort of backup singer. My name is Sean Hopkins. I play the bass guitar. I guess technically it started last year, freshman year. Um, Hopkins and I played a, uh, a 5K gig for my business fraternity. We were probably playing for a few months, probably like September to yeah. about December. It took, November, us, maybe. it took us like three months to figure out that we live right next to a drummer. Then my doorbell rings, I'm like, crap, I already pissed someone off with my drums. It's this guy. And he's just like, hey, are you in a band? You are now. I am now. <laughs> I started out with like a lot of classic rock stuff and onto like I've progressively moved up pretty much by decades of who I'm influenced by. Well, throughout high school, I, I was the guy that kind of hated pop music. So um, I like drew myself to, uh, I'd say like hard rock influences. I grew up with pretty much just country roots, uh, country and folk, um, essentially. And so that's what I started off playing was, you know, three chord country. Dave Matthews is probably my, my biggest influence. I take a lot from um, famous guitarists like Eric Clapton and uh, once from nowadays like John Frusciani. I think their soloing styles are very intense and very musical all at the same time. Just... But I feel like the basis of my playing comes from like bluesier artists, the older ones like Eric Clapton or like Jimmy Page or like even newer guys like John Mayer, who are just these great blues guitarists that just have like the greatest riffs you can think of. Buddy Rich, I think Dream Theater's drummer. Mike Portnoy was a big influence for me. Um, I consider myself nothing compared to these guys, but uh, the, they're what influenced me to really uh, get good at the craft that I do. We just really just like encapsulate like the common genres that most jam bands go for, like rock and then like some folk in the in there and then some heavy rock and then like a lot of that and we just try to like just play music that we can just jam on. We didn't go in there like assuming that we were going to be a certain type of band. We just started playing together and the music that we started playing just came out. Our practices will like spend at least like five minutes just like telling jokes and stuff like that all the time. And when it's uncomfortable Sean has jokes. He was born 10 days after me, July 22nd, 93. Really man, that makes all the things a little suspicious. The jokes that he brings to the table are just so bad. Yeah, yeah. which is never <laughs> everything better. Never it good. just Make brings us more down and down. Yeah. Yeah. I get sad. Sometimes when he tries to whip him out at gigs or otherwise, like in practice, he could say some of the stupidest shit. He tried to joke at Clementines one time and crickets. And he tried to joke at Escape one time, crickets. And like the whole audience would be like, what? And we'll just be like, dude, what are you doing? A few minutes ago, he told us that he tried to crack some jokes in his interview, and we were like, JR and I both said at the same time, he wasn't trying to crack jokes again, was he? Nothing uh, like particularly funny comes offhand. The jamming's not even the funnest part. It's just like, you know, hanging out with him. We just have a good laugh about it later. I have a lot of different forms of training, because I've been classically trained singing, and um, I you know, mostly just dick around on the rest of the instruments. I'm more of a let's have fun and just play what we like to play. And so I'm not really one to get super worked up about like mess ups and stuff. Like if we mess up in a show, you know, as long as we're having fun doing it, you know, that's that's my take on it. So I, I kind of bring the, the lighter side, the, the not so, the not so like music intensive side. I feel like I blend in blues soloing with sort of like more modern rhythmic licks and you know lines that like someone like somebody from the Strokes would play. They're 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 very much more mellow in the band, whereas I'm like the I need to like play some fucking rock, man. I need a fucking rock right now. I definitely think that if we can work, keep working really hard because we've done a lot of work the last three months. If we can keep up the work ethic that we've had, um, I think we could. I think we could get somewhere and possibly be able to do some touring after school and you know that, that'd be the ideal situation for me. I would have no reserves about just playing my entire life. 
and just like living like completely off of gigging and playing music, that'd be great. I'd like to stick with being an artist because who knows where the hell that'll take me, right? If I make it big, I'll make it big. I think for me, I've I uh, really been wanting to gig a lot more intimate, intimate kind of performances where we don't have to like uh, worry about sound as much. You know, big performances are nice, but I think we haven't really gotten the experience of playing in a close, like more intense. Yeah. Uh, I think intense is the right seven. word. Yeah. Yeah. The friction of distance between the stage and the crowd, when it's bigger, I'm just like, I don't know. I, I like to be closer to the audience, yeah. and I think that we can really do that through house shows, and I, I can't wait to actually do that. We're still, you know, in the beginning processes of, you know, our musical experimentation together, and, um, and trying to figure out the best kind of music to make. We're really young, um, and I think that's that's the, the big message that we want to get across. For anyone who's going to our shows or anything, just be prepared to let loose and have fun and just, you know, be ready to listen to some good music. Just, like, look out for us. Like, if you ever see us, like, on a poster or anything like that, or, like, hey, the dudes on stage are playing, who are they? Like, <laughs> check us out. We're not that bad. That's pretty much it. The dudes downstairs. downstairs.